everyone I'm attempting to make a new bow here something a little bit different um, I'm basically the idea came from these bows that I've been seeing on Google Plus from Lonnie Lister um, he does half inch PVC pipe bows reinforced with a fiberglass rod and they look great so I, I really wanted to try one um, I ended up getting the this this fiberglass rod it's got the reflector on it. I chose this one because it was slightly thicker than the the standard uh, orange and yellow fiberglass rods they have uh, that didn't come with the reflector. They're just a little bit skinnier and I'm trying to maximize the strength. So we'll see how that worked out. Um, it's just half inch schedule 40 PVC pipe. The one Lonnie uses is uh, he's been using colored PVC pipe and they look great but at the moment, uh, I don't have uh, the money to invest in that because you gotta order them on order them online and you gotta buy them in bulk. That's something for another day. So here are the materials, and I will keep you posted. All right, everyone. Here is the, the finished bow. I think I don't think I'm gonna add too much more as far as painting. still um, the bow the pipe I used is half inch and it's about 50 inches long the fiberglass insert inside it is about 40 inches long so there's about five inches on either end of this bow that don't have any of the fiberglass in it um, you're going to need to do something similar to that in order to uh, shape your tips how you want it uh, or if you need to add any recurve to it. Um, because of the thickness of the fiberglass, you might be able to tell the, the thickness in my taper. I mean, you can tell I did flatten it, but it doesn't really have that much of a taper. It's almost the same thickness all the way down the bow from the handle to the tips. And that is because of the thickness of the fiberglass. Now, if I were to left this, leave this bit uh, without this handle insert uh, or the handle there, the bow would probably flex a little too much in the handle, just like as if you were doing uh, a bow with uh, just straight round, unflattened PVC. So you do need to reinforce this handle area to give it a little bit more strength, so you don't. piece of poplar, poplar. Uh, it's cut from the longest areas here to here is about six inches and this section is about four inches. Uh, I attached it by using just a little bit of hot hot melt glue. Um, that really is just to help hold it, uh, give it a little support. But then I wrapped it in uh, with uh, a fiberglass and force tape just like the stuff you use for packaging. Um, I then wrapped it with some blue electrical tape and then put the uh, the flattened uh, paracord wrap over it. I kind of left some gaps in here so you still see some of the the blue tape underneath. Just I uh, kind of like that effect. This bow pulls 55 pounds at 28 inches. There's no way you can get 55 pounds out of a half inch PVC bow unless you have it reinforced somehow. Normally, without the fiberglass in this bow, this would be extremely lightweight. Uh, it's something I'd probably give one of my kids. But with the fiberglass, it's, it's about as much weight as I care to shoot from. Uh, because of the extreme weight with such a light, and short bow uh, you get incredible speed or at least one of the fastest bows I've made out of PVC so I'm going to show you how it shoots
Well, here is the bow. Like I said, I'm very happy with it. I mean, 55 pounds is, is uh, more than enough power for me. And, you know, I couldn't imagine getting that kind of weight out of uh, a half inch PVC pipe. Uh, most of the bows I make are with one inch. And I occasionally do a three quarter inch bow. But if I can get this kind of power out of half inch pipe just simply by inserting, uh, you know, a piece of fiberglass that, you know, cost me a few dollars, uh, it's, you know, it's definitely something that you guys should all look into. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think and uh, give me some suggestions for some upcoming videos. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.